Welcome, everybody, to another Taint Peter guide to Lords of the Fallen. Today, we're going to show you how to find Kukajin. No, I did not say Kinkaju, although that is what I always want to call her because I can never remember her fucking name, which is Kukajin. But anyway, you're going to want to come here. We started at the Fen. We took the little shortcut hallway, jump down, and continue as so. Straight here and then off to the left behind this pile of rubble, this crashed cart. And over into this little cave, which you can see has a torch to sort of draw your attention. Cut through here. And here we go. There's a statue here. Well, actually, that's just Kukajin. She's been turned to stone. Um, if you don't know what to do here, you could easily have this conversation and just walk away without ever getting her. But we're going to show you how to get her because Kukajin's actually really cool. You can pay her to help you fight bosses, right? So she'll help, come, she'll help you, you beat them. Then afterwards, you need to go back to Skyrest. I'll show you where she is there. And you pay her. Uh, this can be really helpful, especially if you don't have friends to play the game with and you need a little bit of help on a boss. Kukujin is awesome. And the weird thing about her is that uh, you could easily miss this if you don't know what to look for or don't know how to handle it. So basically, she's going to ask you to help her get unfrozen from the stone state that she's in right now. And all you really need to do is use some sort of a healing spell, or in the case of my character, I have like a healing javelin I'm going to throw at her, and that will bring her back to life. After that, you will talk to her more, she'll meet you at Skyrest Bridge, and she will become available for you to hire for all of your boss fighting needs. Kinkaju, or Kukajin, or whatever. <clears throat> so you can see here I'm going to use the banner javelin of protection, that's like a healing radius thing. Because I'm not a Radiant build, this is kind of the best thing I have to work with on this character. Just going to throw it right at her. Any minute now. Boom. There's the heals, and voila, like magic, she's no longer turned to stone. And she is available to chat. If you didn't quite catch how to get here, just back up to the beginning of the video and watch my run again. It is extremely close to the Fen vestige point. Super duper close. Um, so now that we see her, we're going to go through her quest line here. I'll jump ahead. Uh, basically, she's going to say, thanks for getting me out of here, and uh, I'm going to meet you at Skyrest Bridge. So let's go show you where she is at Skyrest. All right, so we're going to come on in here. All you do is turn around and go down this main hallway right behind me. Right down yonder. <clears throat> she's not there. She's not there. She's off to the right, right here. Now you can come here, talk to her, and she is basically available to help you fight bosses at this point. So you're going to have her meet you places, fight, and then you will come back here and pay her for that. And I think you always want to be sure to pay Kukujin. If you don't, I believe there are dire consequences. So make sure you pay her. And that's that. That's a great NPC, a good ally to have, and an easy, easy, easy one to pass up <clears throat> if you don't know where to look. But luckily, now you do. All right, everybody, that's Tank Peter, the Another Lords of the Fallen Guide. I'll see you next time.